Uh, I had been fiddling, I don't even know how long, trying to find, figure out a perfect place to put this tripod. I've tried this side, this side, here, standing up this long way. It's just not working. This is the best we're gonna get. I'm sorry for any inconvenience that I have caused you. It's me, Zinga G. Welcome back to my channel. I'm gonna do a get ready with me today, just because I'm bored. The house is empty, so I got nice peace and quiet so I can film, be as loud as I want, and not be embarrassed because I'm super embarrassed when I have to record in front of people or with other people sometimes, depending on, I don't know, I'm just weird. I don't know what I'm talking about. Let's just get into um, this. Because I'm lazy and I don't really feel like washing my face right now, I'm just gonna tone my, <laughs> clean my face with toner. Does anyone else do that? I'm super, like, lazy. I'm just using these reusable um, makeup cotton pads. I got them off of Amazon and then that comes with like this cute little mesh bag that you can put all your stuff, all the used cloths, and then wash it in there, and it's like kind of perfect. And then you're not using cotton balls and all that stuff. Okay, so first things first, I'm the realist. Just kidding. I'm gonna start with my brows. I don't know if I should go through the products that I'm using, but I probably will. I guess I will. This is the Maybelline Tattoo Studio bra Brow Pomade. I've been using this forever. I'm sure you guys already know. Um, because I've had it forever. This I've just I've been buying new ones. I haven't been using the same one for years, of course. Um, I'm in the shade 380 Deep Brown. It's the darkest one, I think. I have pretty dark brows, so I just like to go with the darkest color I find pretty much any time. It's just easier that way. And I'm just gonna fill my brows in. This is probably not gonna be an interesting part, but well, you know what? It's part of the process. So everyone does the brows, so we just gotta. Just gotta, um, what's the word? Tough it out, do the brows, just just get it done with. What have you guys been up to? How have you been doing? I'll leave some comments down below. <sighs> this is gonna take me a while, so I'll just come back when I'm done. Tell me I did not just realize that I've had this fan on the whole damn time. Gosh! These are the brows. I don't love them, but I also don't hate them, I guess. So well, let's just go in. Um. I'm gonna skip prior because I'm, what? Lazy. That's right. But, I'm gonna put some foundation on. This is the CoverGirl Clean Liquid Foundation in the shade 153 Sand Beige. I just like to distribute it first and then I've been using a brush lately to kind of blend it in. I used to be strictly Beauty Blender for the longest time. And then, well, I originally started off with using a brush um, and then I went to Beauty Blender um, then I was using like the silicone blender that they had, you know, all those times ago. And then, I don't know, I kind of just came back to to the brush. I kind of just like the brush. And it's a lot quicker. You just swipe it on your face and then you're done, you know. I don't really have much to do today. Actually, I have nothing to do today. I'm probably just going to clean because I'm bored. Do a little cleanup. I obviously have to edit this video. I don't know when I'm going to post it. Depends on how much footage I end up having from all the mishaps I've been having so far and how long it takes me, yeah, to edit it and put it up, but what day is it today? Today's Tuesday, so, so we'll, uh, we'll see. Yesterday when I was taking my makeup off, I was using a cloth that was a little too rough and I, like, irritated my eyelids like right at the lash line. I don't know if you guys have ever done that. I rubbed a little too hard and all I had was mascara and eyeliner yesterday so I didn't even have eyeshadow that needed really rubbing off. But I rubbed it too hard and the eyeliner was only on the edge. So my eyes were really sore. Then I made the mistake of putting, I think I put lotion on first and that really stung. That was a really bad idea. And then I tried putting Blistex. I don't know why I thought that was a good idea because the Blistex, you know, kind of sting, so that really hurt. Um, but then I realized I had Polly's warrant, so that worked. That's what helped. But uh, I really gotta be more gentle with my eyes. I keep forgetting that they're very delicate. And I've had, I've done that a few times where I've um, scratched my lash line and it's very tender and sore, but it's not even like visible. Actually, you can see on this eye, it's visible that there's like a rash there. Um, so that hurts, not fun. And I'm really running out of concealer here, so I'm just trying to make it work. We're, we're trying. We're, we're really trying. And maybe, yes, I'm putting a lot of product on, but you know what? I don't want to hear it. I didn't ask your opinion to all the haters. I'm doing it how I like to do my makeup. And I'm not 
yeah you know what that's it i don't have to explain myself the concealer i went with i don't even know what it is it's the maybelline stay matte concealer no idea what shade it's in i think it's like toffee something i don't know but it's really worn off but it's this one i do actually like it it is pretty good coverage i'm like a good fan but something that i've been really really liking is the essence brand from shoppers for shoppers drug mart I don't I think you can get it other places I'm not sure but essence I love essence products they're like the absolute best I love all of their eyeshadow palettes just all their makeup everything always seems to be really good really full coverage and the price is actually not bad compared to a lot of other products so I go to essence a lot like I use the essence masca mascara I'm sure you guys know that already the lash princess best mascara I've ever bought in my life and it's only five dollars like yes that's a steal um but this is their camouflage plus matte concealer and it is so full coverage when i tell you how full coverage girl you don't even want to know how full coverage she covers up everything she covers up yo your parking tickets um any stains you got in a club no okay but you, you get the point she's she's full coverage but today i think i'm not just gonna not use it because my skin's not too too bad today but what i have been doing is taking oops so the original shade that i use just for like highlighting and just like cover up blemishes on my face that matches my foundation is number 60 golden toffee but the one that i use as like a liquid bronzer or liquid contour is in this shade 70 dark caramel and i like it really good for bronzing so i just kind of put it in the spots that i like it that i bronze obviously and then I have, I don't know, I've been making up a weird technique. Every once in a while, just do a quick one, I like change up my makeup routine like slightly and do weird different things. So what I've been doing lately is I've just been blending in everything, of course. And then I use a light setting powder for under my eyes and all the T-zones and everything you'll see later. Oops, did I just put on my hand? I mean, sweater. Um, and then I will use a darker setting powder which is actually, it's um, a pressed foundation and I use that to set the bronzed area so they can kind of stay bronzed instead of setting the whole face and then going in so that I'm not having like a whole bunch of powder on my face. I just have like the one even layer because I put the darker powder on the outer sides and then the lighter powder on like the inner, on my T-zone area, inner corner. Is this a good angle? I don't know. I was really struggling. I don't have, I'm getting... Um, a studio set up in the next room over. I just haven't gotten, I'm getting, I'm going to be setting up the studio. Like half of my, half of it's going to be my studio. Half of it's going to be my boyfriend's other part of the studio for himself. Um, so once I get it all set up, hopefully it'll look a lot better and I'll have natural lighting from the window that's in there instead of the bathroom lighting and then having to use the light from my tripod so that's the goal to work on it pretty soon i do have all my stuff i just haven't set it up yet so that's that's what i need to get into but anyways so this is what i do to get the base now i just need to set my face this is the rimmel london stay matte powder lightweight mattifying lasts up to nine hours in the shade warm beige beige i can't speak today it's like 2.20 in the afternoon and I still haven't got myself together. I haven't even finished my coffee and actually to be fair I did wake up at like 1 o'clock but still that's beside the point. Anyway, um, I'm going to be using, this is the Mark Powder Buff Natural Skin like Powdered Foundation. I'm sure you guys have seen this years ago when I first started doing makeup videos I was using a lot of Avon products and Mark is one of the Avon op. Uh, it's like one of the brands that you can order through Avon. So this is that powder. This is in the shade medium dark. I ordered it too dark for my skin tone. So unless I use it in the summer when I'm tan, well, well I'm not tan enough for this color. It looks lighter on camera, but it's a lot darker um, in person. Um, but I use this to set the contour and then I use this to set my T-zone because this is a lot lighter in person. It's a lot lighter. It's kind of hard to tell, but it is. So I'm going to do that off camera because I've already wasted so much time talking, even though this is a get ready with me, but... It's just gonna make it easier for me for editing. So I'm gonna come back with my face all set and then we'll get everything done. Actually, I'll come back with my face. No, yeah, when it's all set. Mm -hmm. All right, time for the blush. I'm gonna go in with the Essence The Blush in the shade 70 Believing. I've been really liking this blush. Um, I don't know. All blush to me 
strangely enough, I know blush like can pretty similarly be pretty. I can't. I don't know how to speak English anymore. Can be pretty close. Well, yeah, I guess. I don't know. If these are two different blushes. You can see that they're different, but for some reason they look the exact same on me. So for me, I like. I like putting blush on, but I find that it doesn't really make much, like using different blushes, like it doesn't matter. So I can just use the same blush forever and it just always looks like, a, I don't know, a different one. But yet I keep buying different blushes. So I don't know. They all look the same on me, I find. I just don't see much of a difference. Um, and I still am obsessed with putting lots of blush on my face. It does kind of look like a lot, but I don't know. I'm kind of liking the way my face turned out today. Normally. It just kind of looks eh. I guess I have been putting a bit more time in it today because normally I kind of like rush through my makeup routine when I'm just kind of doing my makeup um, just for like, I don't know, a special occasion or something. So I don't know, but today it seems like it's actually looking pretty good, like I'm looking snatched. Except this isn't blending out nicely. So now I gotta figure that out. I don't know, I think it looks okay. And I'm dying, it is super hot in here. Ah, it is so humid, it has been raining like absolute cats and dogs crazy the like last night it, there was a thunderstorm lightning you know rain all that and then the night before there was also that and i have a dog and he does not like thunderstorms or lightning and it has been a disaster last night i had to go sleep with him in the basement i had about like an hour and a half sleep in the basement when he finally calmed down i went back upstairs to bed and yesterday not last night but the night before last night I made the mistake of just coming in the bathroom with him because a few days ago when it was raining I was in the bathroom with him and he was fine or maybe it was a week ago when it rained I was in the bathroom with him and he was totally fine he calmed down and he had like you know he was okay with the fan on and everything and he couldn't hear I guess the rain wasn't that bad at the time but last night it wasn't working I tried going to the bathroom and like with the fan on and everything and it, that wasn't working so I was like okay hey, screw it we're going to the basement and that was the best choice I should have I should have done it a long time ago, but I didn't, so. But now I know for next time, it's gonna be raining and for the next three days today, like tonight, tomorrow, and then the day after on Thursday, evening at night, I'm pretty sure, which sucks because it's so hard to get sleep because all he does is pant and whine. But when you can bring him, you know, to the basement, I guess it's like, because of how the basement is built, you can't really feel or hear the thunder from down there, strangely enough. So that kind of ended up working. I'm um, just using an e.l.f. highlighter as per usual. Does e.l.f. still make products? I don't even know. This is like a super old highlighter that I've had for probably 10 years. And yes, I'm still using it because makeup ain't cheap, you know? And maybe that's the reason why my acne won't go away. But you know what? It's life. Acne is just a part of life. So you just gotta live life to the fullest and if you have acne, I'm with you, girl, girly, or boy. <laughs> because I don't even know what's going on anymore. I'm probably going to cut this out. But anyways, let's just get into the eye makeup because the whole face is done. Okay, should I try smoky eye? I'm not good at doing those. Those are the only things I can't do uh, because I always seem to put too much black and it just doesn't look good. But maybe I'll give it a shot. Okay, I'm going to start with... Yeah, you know what? We're gonna start with the Essence Salu Petit eyeshadow palette, and I'm going to go in with. I've been using this brush. I can't remember where I got it from. I want to say I got it from the dollar store, but I honestly can't even remember. I have so many brushes from the dollar store. Some are from Avon. Um, I think that's my only collection. I might have like one or two brushes from Shoppers, but I don't typically like to buy brushes unless they're from the dollar store. Or just any cheaper alternative because it's just a brush essentially like it does help when the bristles are soft and then you know the blending but I have found some pretty decent brushes from the dollar store that are surprisingly soft and that do blend out nicely but anyways I'm gonna try to figure out how to do this um as you can see I've been really loving this color here I've been using it a lot so I might just start using that with a little bit of this one can you see that yeah with a little bit of this one mixed together and kind of just start my base and kind of just make ooh that hurts where my eye where I ripped tore some skin I guess with the face cloth I should have learned my lesson I do have soft cloths to remove makeup with but as we all know again I'm lazy so 
we go the easy way and sometimes that's not always the best because then you hurt your eyes and taking this off later is gonna be a pain in the butt but we'll just see what we can do see that's kind of cute the like little pink and brown just for like a cute base I have no idea how this video is gonna turn out I really hope it turns out well because I don't want to have to be refilming something you know <sighs> Okay, um, I don't know how I feel about it, but it looks cute and light. Does it look okay? I think so. So, let's see what I can do here. I kind of want to, uh, mm, I don't know. Yeah, I'm going to add some red. Some red, red, red with this brush. This is the Unique Products. This is... Um, like the unique brand, is that what it is? Hold on. I have a few things from the unique brand and I can't, I think unique is like kind of like, like I've had this for a long time, so I can't really remember. And this was uh, gifted to me from my mom. So I don't really know everything about this brand. Um, but I think it's like the type of thing. It's kind of like Avon where you can like order it online or they have like a catalog and you can like order stuff like this. They have like a lot of cute stuff. Like I have a few eyeshadow shades from the brand. Side note, I just heard thunder and I just heard the dog walk outside the door. Hey, buddy. So we're not gonna have fun. It's gonna be a little noisy pretty soon, I'm pretty sure. And that sucks because it's been raining all night and all morning and we had like an hour break and now all of a sudden, <clears throat> anyways, I'll be back again. Oh, there it goes. Come on in, buddy. Please don't make noise. I gotta record. This is Tucker. Oh yeah, here he goes, here he starts. Told ya, it's not gonna be fun. I'm gonna try to get through the rest of this. Um, and hopefully, hopefully it's not too loud. I'm gonna see if I can calm down first, so I'll be back. Okay, I really don't know what to do. We're just gonna be stuck with panting for the rest of the video. I hope this doesn't ruin it. But, <coughs> look at him. He was so scared, the poor thing. It's okay, buddy, just wait. Okay, I'm gonna use this fluffy crease brush, try to ignore the panting in the background. Oh, he's gonna line up, I think we're good. Um, using the impish from the Unique brand. And I'm going to, I think this is a little bit darker than the Essence colors that I had. So I'm going to try to darken just a little bit out here. Yeah, it's a little bit darker. Not super dark compared to it, but there it does add a little bit of definition. So I'm just going to kind of define the outer corner, make it a little bit darker. Wait a minute. I'm doing, I don't know if it's going to work. I really don't know how to do smoky eyes. So... Wish me luck. I guess, I don't know. I guess I'll just blend it up in here so then I can add some dark for more definition on the outside. But we'll see how it goes. It always, on camera, it doesn't look too bad. But for some reason in person, this just doesn't pick up pigment enough. And that's what the issue is. Super annoying. And then I try to make it look the same. But this eye always looks like I can't do makeup because it looks a lot worse on this side. But this eye is just easier to... Get that nice pointed shape at the end, you know? But I don't know. I'm just gonna try to blend it up into here, bring it up higher so then you can see the color when I do add the definition on the outside, on the outer corners, and kind of just pat the color in. Hmm. It's cute. I do like this color. I like all colors like this. Like I wear lots of orangey red, pink colors. I don't know. I just find they look best on me. I'm thinking, I don't know if I should add this for the darkening of the color or darkening of the color for the outer corner. That one doesn't have a good dark one. Shh. Um, or I could do like this brown, but it's not really going to give me the smoky effect I want, but I do have a black here in this palette, for my Avon palette that I've had for so long, this black. So maybe I'll do like a few dots just to darken it and then I'll use brown to blend it out. So let's see if I can do that. Did I say I was gonna use this brown? I already can't remember. I think I was gonna use that brown to blend it out. Yeah, okay. So we're gonna use the Avon palette, the black that's in there, but I need, I'm gonna use this super teeny tiny brush. This, wow, where's the name? Oh, I guess the name's not on here. 
The name is on, oh, maybe not. Okay, well, these brushes I'm pretty sure got from the dollar store then if they don't have any name on them. But I thought I had other, another brush that had, no, I guess not. But yeah, I got all these ones from the dollar store. And they're pretty cute. The matte kind of sleek handle, I like it. But anyways, it's like a tapered, can you see that? Oh my gosh, I'm a real beauty guru. Oh, ignore my nails, gross. Um, a tapered brush, so I'm just gonna take the teeniest, tiniest dot of the black and wish me luck. Okay, I'm just gonna lightly dot it right out here. Kind of in the crease, but just go right up here. I'm not gonna go too far. This is my first time really trying for a smoky eye, so I really wanna make it look good. Try my best. The dog's really going, I'm sorry. Oh, there's nothing I can do, there's nothing. I just hope you can hear me all through the panting. But now you guys know what I was going through at one in the morning last night and then two night, the night before last, 4.30 in the morning because it's not fun getting woken up like that. And I'm kind of, I'm kind of ruining what I have going here, but whatever. So I'm just bringing it up kind of three quarters of the way of the lid and we're going to do the other side. Good practice for a child though, the crying and the whining through the storm. Hmm, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm trying not to go too far up because I don't want it to be too much, but I do want to be able to blend it out nice. Oh, okay, we'll do that. I'll add like a little, a little tail at the end so it's kind of pointed. That looks okay. Ooh, oh boy, it looks intense on this side. I really don't, oh boy. Am I ruining it? I don't think you can see from this far. That one doesn't look too bad. I'm gonna blend it out and make it look nice so that the edges aren't, you know, just not just like that. I don't know how I feel about this, but I will be blending it up, I think, to make it look nicer. Wow, his panting is making it hot in here. Excuse me, sir. Do you mind backing up a little to the other side? Because you're loud. Mm -mm. Okay, I'm gonna be back again, try to reposition him. Okay, black is done. I'm going to the Essence palette now to add some brown. Um, the question is what brush do I use because I don't want to go. I'm just going to use this brush again. I can't find my brush cleaner. I had like this, this like weird looking thing that you just swipe and it cleans your brushes, but I don't know where I have it. So we're just going to have to keep the pink that's on here. I'm going to take a lot of brown and attempt to blend out the smoky eye. And I don't know if it's working. I might have to add more black. But I thought putting it on and then blending it would work. And it's kind of just like staying where I put it. Which is good, but also not good. Because I want it to move up a little and kind of define the rest of the lid. But it's going to take a lot of blending. Huh. Okay, I'm going to come back when it's blended. And hopefully kind of add a bit more color and make it look darker a little bit on the edges. So that you guys don't have to hear the panting the whole time when I'm trying to figure this out. Okay, so I've blended it in, added a bit more black than I did the under my lower lash line and I added some eyeliner. Mm, I'm not a huge fan, but it's not too, too bad. I'm just gonna put the Essence Lash Princess. This is just the false lash mascara. They have like a waterproof one and they have like other, I can't remember the other ones, but they have like a few other different ones to make your eyelashes look different as most brands do and now we're just gonna silently put on mascara i'm trying to decide if i want to do lashes because lashes like i like doing lashes but sometimes it's a struggle when i have um eyeshadow on because i don't want to mess it up and then taking it taking off the lash glue is like my least favorite part so i don't know i probably won't but we'll see we'll see once the mascara is on how it's looking but, uh, yeah. da, 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 da. And I always get mascara all over my eyelids after I've- Oh! I just remembered I haven't done a shimmer for my lid color. Uh, now it's just all matte. Now what do I do? Oh man, that's annoying. Okay, well I guess we're just gonna skip it and just put it on there in our corner. <sighs> I tried all this work. And I was like so excited to put the shimmer and bring the whole thing together and then I forget to put it on. So that's fun. And I have 
It is hard to talk when you're doing mascara. It is not easy. So I should stop talking. Otherwise, we're gonna have a mess on our hands. Now, I need to do a good, okay, this is the Essence, what was it called? Coato? Is that what it was? I don't know, I can't remember. Um, it was, it's number four, oh so cute, it's like a eyeshadow little, cute little palette. I think this is super old though that I've had for a while. Um, I'm just gonna use the white. Take this brush, take some of the white shimmer and just place it right on the outer corner. And that'll be our star of the show, is the inner, inner corner, not outer corner. Holy, that was loud. That's the star of the show. That looks cute, look at that. She's coming together. Okay, I don't feel like doing lipstick, so we're gonna take yet again the Essence Shine, Shine, Shine um, lip gloss. This is just in, uh, ooh, I don't know, it's just a clear one. It has like a pink tinge because I put it on after liquid lipstick. But she's so cute. I love Essence stuff. It looks like my lip isn't blended in. Hmm. Okay, I don't know, whatever. Here she is, the final look is all done. I'm not gonna do my hair because I'm bored. But you know what, in person it looks a lot better. <laughs> I'm saying that just to kind of, what's the word? Um redeem myself on the camera it looks kind of janky but trust it looks better in person oh yeah that's not bad i don't hate it i don't love it but i don't hate it um uh, thanks for watching and joining me sorry it was a huge disaster and a mess hopefully i can edit it and make it seem not too shabby have a great day peace